San Luis Rey, which is the 18th mission in the Californian mission system. It was founded by Father Fermin de Lassen in 1798. Let's go and let me take you on a tour of my mission. First, I would like to show you the church, which is the most important building in the mission and also the most biggest. Here, people would attend sermons and mass and sit in pews. Here is the bell tower, which was used to signify the events of the day. Now let's go back downstairs. Here is the baptistry, which was used to baptize people into Christianity. There are paintings to make the church look nice. Now here is a statue. Here is the small chapel, which is a small place for worship. This is where the Padres, which are priests, would stand and recite the Bible. Wait, also in here, I forgot to show you something, the sacristy. Here, items that were used in ceremonies like sermons or mass were placed in here to be safely kept. Next, I would like to show you the mission quadrangle. Oh, that was by accident. Here is the mission reception, where people were received by the church. It was technically like a lobby, like a hotel lobby. This is the Padre's dining room. Here is the mission office and the kitchen of administration. The kitchen of administration was for a was for like the the like the it was like the kitchen of like the staff, church staff and like the Padres and like the, a person who sits in this office. Oh, I can't get out. Over there is the Major Domo headquarters, which was essentially the Major Domo's office. Now, this is the superintendent's headquarters, which is essentially the superintendent's office. They have access to them uh, outside, as you see here. And the Padre's dining room also has access to outside, as you see here again. Now let's go check out the Padre's quarters. Here is the Padre's oratory, which was essentially used for private worship. A oratory, I mean an oratory or something, is used for private worship. Padres used it for private worship in the mission. Now this is the Padres quarters, which is where the Padre slept. The quarters was like his bedrooms, his, I mean his bedroom, you know. Now here is the other pod, Padres oratory. Here it was also used for private worship by the Padre. This is also this is also another Padre bedroom. They all, both have access to outside. Now let's go upstairs. Up here is a library where people could borrow books. Now this is a bench for sitting and there's windows for the view. And now here's the school where people were taught 
and educated about the basics of education. Now, let's go to the next column. Wait, oh, I think let's go to the back of the. That would be, that would be. So, here's the next column. Now, I would like to show you the next column. Here is the superintendent major domo headquarters. I showed you that already. Now this is the entrance to the warehouse, and the general warehouse is here. Now here is the vegetable garden. Over here is the lever workshop, where lever was like used to make things. And now. There's another service headquarters, which is like an office but for service. And over here is a wine cellar with wine. And then upstairs, there were like tables and chairs for people to sit in and a bench over there. And there were bedrooms for the people who lived in a mission, like Indians. Or, or mission staff. Over here is the nurses' quarters, where the nurse slept. And if you know what an infirmary is, in here is the children's infirmary. An infirmary is like a hospital. Now this is the women's infirmary. Infirmary. Over here is a chapel for the sick. Here. Um, Jesus was worshipped by the sick people. Like they like prayed, prayed to be healthy again. Now this is the men's infirmary where the men slept that they were sick. Over here is the pharmacy, which has some medicine in it, and was used to prescribe medications like herbs in the past. To ill people. Now here's the Carter's workroom. The Carter's dro job was to like make the wool, like untangle the wool, like to make it usable, like untangle, untangle it to to like make it easier to to spin into cloth and stuff. Now over. It's important in wool making. Now over here is the next column, and here spinning there were spinning wheels in here, which were used to spin cloth. Now over here are looms for women, where women work with looms to also spin cloth. Now this is a storeroom for linen, cotton, and hemp. It also has a staircase in it. So here is the actual where the, all the linen hemp and cotton were was and now upstairs there's tables and chairs bench and there's also um, uh, bedrooms which are for people who lived at the mission also now over here is the girls workshop where the girls worked Then here's the entrance to the schoolroom. The schoolroom's over here. You are also s schooled in education, the basics, such as reading math and math. And here is another service headquarters, which also has a staircase to go upstairs. There's also a view of the livestock. Here are also chairs and tables, along with 10 bedrooms in here for people who lived in a mission here are the looms and weavers which um weaved you know cloth also now these are the coopers who make and repair barrels and, and baskets Over here are the carpenters and joiners. They work with wood to make and repair things that are made with wood. 
Now this is the iron workers blacksmiths locksmiths workshop. Here they work with iron to make things made of out, out of iron. Now here is another service headquarters. That's another service office. Now this is the general kitchen where food that was supplied to the people of the mission was made here and prepared. Now here is the workshop for tailors. They also work with cloth and made it clothes, etc. Now here is the we're back to here. So now I would like to show you the fountain in the middle. Over here is the fountain in the middle. There's a bunch of trees that you can see for decoration. Over here is the pepper tree is the pepper tree, which is the oldest pepper tree in California to this day. Over here I have some livestock, some cows, some sheep, some pigs, some horses, some meals. You might be wondering where are the goats? Well, the goats can just jump over the fences, so yeah. Now, that's all for today, and I hope you enjoy touring my mission. Bye!